All right, peeps, we are now back, and ESBC has released their April development update. Let's go ahead and break it down. Some really interesting information in here. The first bit of information they gave us is the ESBC fighter announcement show. Man, we thought this was going to happen a couple weeks ago, as Todd Grisham has indicated that there was going to be a major fight announcement. We've been kind of waiting. <laughs> we haven't heard anything, but... We got information today, and I quote, this has been the most popular topic over the last few weeks. We can confirm Todd Grisham will now be hosting the next show on Thursday, May 6th. Yes, I cannot wait because this is going to be, or supposed to be, the major announcement. Some heavy hitters. As they stated, it's a major star in the sport, or stars. So can't wait until the announcement show, just a week away. Can't wait to hear more. And then we got the studio update. I quote, every week incredible developments are taking place as ESBC continues to grow globally. Both the studio and roster have been quadrupled in size in less than 12 months. We are using the growth to realize the vision we have for ESBC. We have expanded into new offices and with the easing lockdown, we are able to restart scanning and motion capture settings. Nice. It looks like the sessions for the motion captures are starting to pick back up. Matter of fact, I think it was just last week we heard from Chris Cyborg. She was actually getting scanned. And I believe there's some other fighters who have been getting scanned as well. So, I mean, this is great news. It's they're starting to ramp things back up. And as they stated, the studio and the roster has quadrupled. This team is growing massively. This game has started out from being just a small indie game. This game is going to be a major title. I can already tell this has gone far beyond their scope. So gameplay features, I quote, we are grateful for every suggestion we receive from our fans. We have some fundamental mechanics embedded into ESBC. We are always looking to improve the game to bring you the best possible experience. We can confirm the following extra features that will be a part of the ESBC roadmap. I had to buckle up for this one. Now, and the first one is the ability to take a knee during the fight, to take an eight count. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. The ability to take a knee, that is, that's great that that's a really great gameplay mechanic. I mean, your fighter could be getting hurt, they take a knee, they're over there looking at their opponent like, man, I see three of them. Oh, I see two. Oh, I see, oh, there he is, I see him. My, my head's clear, now I can get up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're taking that punishment, you could take a knee just to kind of re recoup that stamina or health or whatever, whatever source that you need to, to be able to get yourself back together, recompose yourself so you can get back out there and compete. The second bullet point, single punch stuns as well as flash knockdowns and knockouts. Wow. Single punch stuns are great. Any type of punch that will stun your opponent just catches attention to kind of keep them at bay, kind of stunt that momentum a little bit. Those are welcome. Great, great feature. And flash knockdowns and knockouts. This is, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. How these, I mean, is it gonna take the perfect punch? Is it going to take that punch you don't see? I mean, these are things that happen in the sport, in the ring. These things happen all the time. It's great to see them in the game. Third bullet point, the chance of being KO'd significantly increases if caught midway through a big punch. Wow. So say you're winding up for a big right hand, but your opponent actually times you and counters you with a left hook. Once again, real life scenario, you could be hurt badly. If you're, you ever heard don't hook with the hooker, the person, the, the master at throwing the hooks and gets their hook there first, you'll be winding up too, but if they catch you, you may go to sleep off that punch. The fourth bullet point, an opponent can still be dangerous when they seem to be out on their feet. Can't wait to see how this plays out. I can imagine an opponent just going back, badly hurt, maybe up against the ropes, 
but musters up enough energy to time a right hand, body shot, any type of counterpunch, because your opponent, I got him hurt. You know, the, your opponent's coming forward, throwing a bunch of punches, trying to get you out of there. You could time a perfect right hand, left hook, or any type of punch uh, to, to catch your opponent and stun them. Get yourself back together and, and you can keep fighting. That, that's great. The fifth bullet point separate to swelling and damage. Visible facial and body deformation will take place real time during the fight when taking punches. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this information, my mind is completely blown. Say somebody's eye gets cut or badly damaged in the first round. We're gonna see that eye start swelling throughout the fight round by round. Given that the cut man doesn't take care of it, an eye that's really seriously damaged, they're talking about deformation. Oh man, that's crazy. Now wouldn't it be, what if somebody develops a hematoma? I mean, we see that in fights, you know, just really big swelling. Man, this is really good information. Bad props on that. And they also announced some new partnership integrations. I quote, the boxing world is now actively getting involved in ESBC, which is fantastic news for gaming fans. For the first time ever in a boxing video game, you will be able to fight for a number of licensed world title belts. We can now confirm the IBO have joined the growing list of licensed belts that will feature in career mode. Wow. So now we could win the WBC, the Ring Magazine, WBC Silver, WBC International. Man, WBC has a lot of belts. <laughs> That's another story. The IBF. The IBO, like they said, they added the IBO. That's great news. I mean, unifying these title belts in ESBC is going to be awesome. I can't wait to unify those titles. Strap me up. And the last bit of information was about the launch plans. I quote, we are making good progress towards our early access launch plans as outlined in our previous update. We will continue to keep you updated on this matter. So the launch plans, they're still rolling. Uh, we do not have a solid launch date. Um, they're still pushing for early access. And I believe this is probably towards the end of summer, maybe. Uh, can't wait to, to get a solid date, but man, just keep hitting us with these, uh, these monthly updates, keeping us updated. Uh, ESBC, Steel City Interactive, and man, it's, it's, it's a real treat and it'll keep us happy. It'll keep us well informed about the progress which I, I think that's what we want to see. We want to see this game do well. Uh, so the monthly updates will definitely hold us over until we get to early access. All right, peeps, and that's it. That is the April update. Very, very good information. Very excited. Can't wait to hear more. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We will be back and keeping you updated with more ESBC news. Ari right, peeps, you know what it is. Until next time, Jill.